Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2, sorry, Rule the Waves 3 as Germany, episode number 39. Ah, Rule the Waves 2, Rule the Waves 3, what's the difference anyway, right? Well, supposedly a lot of things, including the new graphics. You can see, uh, I think it is nicely improved. Uh, now, I spent the last part of the last video with this window out of, you know, not, not right, not quietly aligned. Not quite aligned, yeah, so sorry about that. In fact, I've taken a short break and I'm um, in the same session, basically. I'm gonna pick it up, so I haven't seen any comments based on the last video yet. That hasn't gone live. But we're gonna, well, I mean, while I have a little bit of time, and time has been something <laughs> rather difficult to, to, find, to find lately. Uh, so anyway, Let's try to get both these videos recorded at the same time, just so I have both of them ready to go. Now the uh, battle cruisers here, I don't know what they're doing, they're doing a little bit of a dance. Our destroyers are coming in from the north, That uh, they're in pretty good, they're closing in nicely. Will it cause them to once again, what's going on here? I don't know if, what they're gonna do, if they're gonna wiggle. I want them back towards my battle cruisers, so I guess part of me really wants these light cruisers to just head north. Um, you could actually close. I thought they might do that. That's why I was getting my light cruisers that way. Now we launched previously our starboard side torpedoes, so our port side should be ready to go. Which means we might even be able to get our uh, light cruisers into the action here. That'll be exciting. Oh, this volume is way too loud. Is that what you guys have to listen to? Just the sound of guns <laughs> going off constantly? That ah, could be worse. Well, we definitely have these guys um, spinning in circles. What is their, what is their plan? Oh, oh, wait, that guy, oh, he's still moving. I thought he came to a, a, a stop. <laughs> this Jaguar is probably dead, which is good. Um, we may have to zigzag a little bit here because this destroyer is not, it's not yielding. We'd hate to take a torpedo after all this. Ah, I saw that little maneuver. Okay, we'll just maneuver like this. All right, who's getting blasted? You are. That's by whom? It is that one. Okay. Well, what's your squad max? Okay, you know what? 24 is a good number. Take it back. Oh, okay, well, looks like we have an opportunity here. Interesting, we'll get a low and a high off. That's, no, yeah, that's kind of cool. Same thing, low and high. I like it. Oh, that's right, these are the ones that have the rear and the front torpedoes too, that's crazy. Let's head towards that Jaguar, which um, should, this kind of maneuvering, I'm hoping, I'm, I assume, it would be enough to juke any incoming torpedoes from the the Commandant Bori over here. And you're speeding along, and you are bringing up the rear. This is all good. I'm content with this. Oh, it's almost nighttime. Fair enough. We still, oh, we're blasting the wrong one. What I would have liked to have seen in this in the final few moments is taking out the Commandant Rory. Uh, what's her name? Bori. Oh, okay, that one down. I was about to say, I would rather them not focus on this Jaguar, which is definitely not alive anymore, but that has taken care of itself. <laughs> we won't we will no longer be targeting it because we no longer can. It has slipped under the waves. <laughs> and this should reduce sight. Well, we're Enough. He's 
still have a few torpedoes inbound. In fact, we can probably get all of our destroyers just to make their run now that it is... Okay, it's not pitch black, but... Okay, so is it time? Yeah, I think it's still time for us to make our destroyer runs and then pull out. <clears throat> Feels a little bit dangerous. Oh my gosh, our torpedoes might actually find the mark. Feels a little bit dangerous sticking around. I am, uh, yeah, I guess I'm a little bit surprised that nobody... Oh, wow. She did, they just, they threaded the needle. They did it. And now the Commandant Bori is getting hit good. We didn't want her around. Oh my gosh, she's only 400 tons. Okay, let's spin back south with everyone, yeah. Um, yeah, so what is your torpedo situation, by the way? You do have four or six, so you, actually, technically right now, I think you can fire your torpedo. <laughs> so funny, that's just funny. <laughs> it's just that you don't think about the fact that you have rear torpedoes. <laughs> But yeah, and it, obviously, rear torpedo is not great when you're in line formation. <laughs> Are we going to be able to get these guys to do anything interesting? Probably not. We do seem to be controlling the fight continuously. Landing the hits, directing them, I mean, things have gone well. Which they already were in the last episode, so that's not surprising. Yeah, I am happy to see this guy. So with them closing, we're going to have to do another pull away. And we unfortunately didn't um, really prepare for them trying to escape back out to the southwest. I think we'll try to use the very short remaining, remaining window to land as many hits as possible, and then when night sets in, we will we'll abandon, we'll disengage entirely. So, probably don't have any torpedoes on this side either, right? Oh, we do. We reloaded, basically. Let's keep them um, on, on this course for now. Because what we strongly suspect is going to happen is that the Marseille is going to start moving back south because the destroyers are coming in. I might actually just go ahead and lob some because if they miss this one, will they get that one? Probably not. But let's just, I mean, I'm not sure we'll get a better opportunity. So we'll just take it, take this chance. Hmm, interesting. They haven't yet yielded <laughs> to us, which I would have expected them to do, frankly. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is really not going to end well for them if they don't do some maneuvering on the double. They are just not going to do maneuvering. All right, well, that's one way of doing it, I guess. Just let yourself be killed, pretty much. Yep, that's just pretty much exactly what we what we want. All right, let's um, start lobbing some some fish. Put some fish down range. Why am I targeting this one? Because I'm actually pretty confident that the other one is going to be an, annihilated by the front two, V2 and G11, which means that V5 can go ahead and target the rear one. And we'll just see if we get lucky with any of these. I'm not expecting to hit the second one, but I am expecting to hit the first one. Yeah, that's a nice spread. We'll see if anything comes of that. Okay, probably not, but here's the ones that we are expecting to land. All right, G11, do your do your job here. These are the ones that I am uh, would be flabbergasted. We don't get at least one of these to hit. I didn't even really want to go the torpedo route. We didn't 
I don't think we really needed to. But anyway, here we are. Hitting them with three inch guns. <laughs> all right, let's see how this all goes down. I think we got a hit already. And we're pulling off, which is good timing. Uh, we're actually hitting good. We're hitting the one that did not get hit by torpedoes and probably is not going to get hit by torpedoes. Oh yeah, we uh, got a second hit on this guy. That's probably worth a follow-up launch. So what we'll do is we'll spin these guys around. And you are mainly in charge of trying to get, we'll go up to squad max here, um, the second BB, which is actually a battle cruiser. Now, did we take us some hits here? Why are we slowing down? Max B 25, 26, that's not bad. Yeah, so let's go back over to this one, finish her off. You guys have only one job and that's to train your eyes on that one. In fact, we really don't need, we really don't need that many torpedoes into this one. We already suspect that she was very heavily damaged by gunfire. How much gunfire did she take? A lot, right? So, how do we want to handle this? Maybe just um, approach, launch one torpedo, one more should hit, maybe two. Just get one destroyer to launch torpedoes. But we are doing the right thing here. We've been like zigzagging and all that. We have our light cruisers chasing off their destroyers. This one's probably already having a hard time. We're still landing hits, big gun hits on their battle cruiser. I mean, really, there's everything has gone well. This is uh, it's like that one big battle where we sank the 15 battleships. You know, when everything comes together, it's just, it's like a nice, beautiful thing. So we just need one guy to launch here. That should be sufficient. I'll launch both. And that should be it. And I guess we'll go around, because, <laughs> well, I guess we can turn in. It's at high speed, so it should be faster than my ship. And both of them hit. Good. So we'll continue the chase this way. Um, I'll have you guys duck behind the battle cruisers, just so you can keep pursuing the Jaguar. I haven't really even been paying attention, but I'm pretty sure we're just smacking the hell out of the Marseille still. And you know what? This might be the opportunity, so we'll just go right it. Push um further south if we can. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're still landing hits, and in fact, the destroyers are landing hits on the Marseille. That's that doesn't matter. And yeah, you guys are gonna push off the Jaguar, which is exactly what you're doing. This is like when a plan comes together, you never expect it to go this well. This is like textbook. Our light cruisers destroying their destroyers. Our destroyers destroying their battle cruisers. With our battle cruisers also destroying their battle. Cruisers. I mean, everything's gone well. So just a little bit unnerving, even how well things have gone. Oh, I thought we had starboard side torpedoes, but it turns out we have port side torpedoes. Okay, well, we can still manage this if we really try. <laughs> I just really have to hope that they're, uh, they're you know, not able to turn very quickly. Buy us more time. In fact, what I should have done here, I, this is stupid. I, I should have gone to line of brass, turn together. I don't think I can do that at this point. I think that, well, let, let me see, what's your max speed? Okay, so the V25's max speed is higher. Lower, damn, lower. Okay, yeah, then forget this, line ahead, don't turn together, okay, good. All right, well, I think we have one more, can we fire already? If we can, then we can get this guy out of here. Yeah, we can. So this is probably already Interesting. Then just pull off this way. Hopefully that will circle um, them in. It did, good. So I don't know if we, I guess we missed. 
Is V25 in position or is it friendly ship in line of fire? I could have seen it happen either way. 144, 142. All right, just pull off. Get out. Oh, that looks quite good. That looks quite good. She's on fire already. Well, this is probably the one that took the most amount of damage prior. Um, prior. So yeah, we'll um, we could go and hunt down the um, light cruiser even, but why bother? It's just about dusk. This is about to happen. <laughs> Get you guys down to twenty as well. Clink clink. Oh, you know what? She's still alive. I shouldn't. I guess would have thought that that was the end of her. So okay, just pull out of the way then. Um, deploy smoke. Yeah. Okay. You guys can deploy smoke. I think it is the end of her. She has now come to a stop. But all right, mission accomplished. In fact, I guess everyone can just. Go down to cruise 16 for you, go that way. And yeah, you still need to get out, but then you guys are gonna go down to 25. Yeah, 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 this is over. Okay, good. Just chase that Jaguar out. Okay, who wants to fire some more shots, some more torpedoes? Since you're not paying for them, you're, you might as well, right? So we have nothing on this side. We don't need. We don't need it. You know what? I will. I'll just take this one on the chin if this one is surviving. I. I'm just. I would be pretty surprised. Just taking a couple torpedoes after taking like just a ton of gunfire, and still is taking gunfire. Go down to 18 with the battle cruisers, but I won't slow them down so much, just yet. guys go this way as well and probably everyone can go down to cruise now and we'll just let this roll all right mission accomplished I suspect it'll end before we actually get to port that's fine we're not flooding I think I hope There it is. It is not a good day to be the French. It was. It's not a good like year to be the French. If you're German, you'd probably say it's not a good century to be the French. Uh, let's see how it went for them. Yeah, four torpedo hits, but I'm pretty sure that even before that, we had already pounded them pretty thoroughly. Okay, here's the torpedo. Let's see if we find torpedo before that. Yeah, this is the one that was on fire. I don't see any torpedoes, so yeah, this is the one that, I mean, look at how many hits this was. How many, it says it right here, 29 heavy hits, my goodness. 29 on that one, 35 on this one, jeez. 35, this one only took one torpedo hit. <laughs> it was already sank. And they were using quality zero 14 inch guns. Yeah. I mean, they definitely had superior, but our crew quality is so good. Which you knew right away when the first barrage, that first barrage with like four or five hits that like hooked me into actually fighting this one out. Uh, you knew the Von Mercots must have really good crew. And they do. Wow, another ninth. That a completely. It's like. We don't need it. <laughs> Another 10,000 victory points. Improved triple turrets. All right, that's great. So I think we just jumped straight from nothing to triple, to improve triple. Delayed to uncertain margin of superiority. Okay, let's go check that out. What is our margin of superiority there? She's fine, by the way. I just want to make sure that like cruiser didn't sink. We hit a mine, but she'll be in port for five five months. And another one's interned, another interned, another interned. I guess, was that blockade effects coming into effect or just they went outside of the Northern Europe zone? I don't know. Okay, uh, first of all, we gotta make 
sure this all lines up. Yeah, it looks okay. Let's go over to Northeast Asia and see what's going on over there. I'll turn off the invasion range just for the moment. The French have Corvettes. That's all. The French have Corvettes. There are zero French ships in bordering. What is uncertain margin of superiority? They have nothing. They have nothing there. And they have nothing in any sea zone that they could have been. That means that they would have been there last month. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I guess you, you, it'd be nice to know a little bit more what goes on under the hood. There's this, um, I think it's a very reasonable debate. It's a very cool debate. I would love to just talk about these things more. I should be on a, I should be on a strategy podcast or something. The um, hiding of values under the hood so you have more of an immersive feel versus showing the numbers so that people understand the mechanics and aren't frustrated by them. Uh, and I think that basically once you've bought yourself some credibility, you can hide numbers more, but you know, in this game, it's you're never really sure what the reason for something is. Is it a bug or is it working as intended? So from that perspective, I think that this, I would really enjoy if Rule the Waves showed a lot more of the um, mechanics, revealed a lot more of the mechanics, just so we could know we tr that is trustworthy, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that there's nobody over there. We we do have some ships um, en route. They're in South Africa now. It's gonna take them a while. They probably won't get there before the war ends. They'll probably get there, and the war will end as soon as, I mean, basically as soon as it happens, or as soon as the invasion begins, but without us actually taking it, which means you don't get it. Still, we're sitting on a very nice balance. The funds are slowly accruing. I know that we should be designing a new ship soon, and I, I know that, man, there's just... So the nice thing about the getting the new ship type thing is that I know I am not going to have to deal with, and maybe I should already just obsolete these. You know what? I think the one thing that we could do, though, is get some more Corvettes in preparation for... Um... Now, these don't work, I guess... What? I don't know exactly what the foreign tonnage situation. Maybe they need another column here, which is foreign tonnage. Because uh, I don't know what this thing, I don't like, unless you have the manual out, it's probably in the manual, right? I know that ships over 4,500, I think it's over 4,500, maybe it's over 6,000, um, get some penalty to their foreign stations tonnage, meaning that one big ship of like 30,000 tons is not going to satisfy 30,000 tons of foreign station requirement. It'll have its, I think it's only you get one third after the 6,000 mark. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, so it'd be a, I think it's one third over 6,000. Um, so it's like 2,000 tons. I, anyway, I forget. But it's, uh, you know, there's a penalty. And I think there's also a penalty for smaller ships, though, because I do have these, somebody here, there. We have these um, colony ones, 1,700 tons, plus they have the colonial um, attribute, which gives them like an increase, was it like 20%, 25% increased effective tonnage for foreign station measurements. And they do not work even at 2,000. I think these we've already checked. I don't think it's, or maybe I maybe I just got that wrong. Maybe I misread something. Okay. The whole point of that conversation though was just to start off by wondering if I should just build more of these. I like on mines. They're cheap. I'll probably just build some more of these. Yeah, they were built in 1914. That's great. We'll build more. We got a lot of Northern Europe. Let's just build even more of them. And then we'll send them all over the world. Another 12, why not? Uh, then we'll start at the top of those and we'll start dispersing them. You know what? Yeah, because we're going to have to replace some of these ships. We need to know where are we going to go to replace? Okay, yeah. We, these all need to be. All need to be retrofit. Maybe we can get away with it already. How what's our advantage? 391 to 242. 
So we, we can probably just start rotating these out. And by rotating them out slowly, I mean we maybe just do the entire thing at once. 16 times four, we're dealing with about 60 here. 64 actually. Well, at 64, we would still have a monstrous overhead over the French, which means, yes, we, we, we can just do it. We can just retrofit an entire class at the same time. <laughs> These are not bulged, but they, and they have a speed of 20. Okay, this is interesting. Do you bulge these? I don't think so. Hmm. I, I really don't know uh, what the optimal is here. All right, let's um let's just check what replacing machine around these would amount to. So if we do just a paint job type refit, the rebuild cost is two hundred and eighty. Oh man, they they must have made it much cheaper. So for 10 months at 280, can I undo replace machinery? 10 months at 2000, okay, what, what is it just a dry? So it's three months at 93. Their maintenance is 80, okay. So it'd be slightly higher than their maintenance just to do a, a paint job refit. However, if we replace machinery, that's going to go up to 2,000. That's 10 months at 200. And if we want to actually get anything out of it, rather than just replacing machinery, these are protected cruisers. I, you know, I just don't see the advantage of replacing these machinery. I could maybe see it. Man, I have to say, it is very hard for me to see the appeal of replacing machinery. It's the thing I get asked about probably the most, or um, people ask if I can do that the most. I don't think the numbers favor it. I think it's better, you're better off. Okay, the extreme case that I've seen for at least bigger ships is like for a dreadnought, you can usually, uh, for the, the cost of replacing machinery and getting like two knots more, is one third the cost of a new ship. It's just so absurd, like how expensive replacing machinery is. I'd rather buy a new ship and have four ships moving at 20 knots than have three moving at 22. So, that, I mean, that's just me. Maybe some, of you, some people might prefer that extra two knots to the point where they would be happy to, to lose that fourth ship. But hey, if you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody, I mean, yeah, the odds are pretty good. It's, I think it's apparent that four ships slightly slower are going to do much better in combat than three. Although there's also something said about this game. I don't know. I'm just stalling here, but this game, um, sometimes quality is much more important than quantity since the battle generator only chooses to bring X number of ships anyway. So sometimes, you know, the more potent your ships are, that's just better because it, it'll only bring a limited amount anyway. And you usually are not horribly outnumbered, but it can happen, but even if you have more ships than the enemy, you can be outnumbered. So, from that perspective, quality is probably more important than quantity. Anyway, um, we are we going to do this rebuild or not, Tortuga? Just going to sit thinking about it. Just going to do a paint job refit. And the Bodensees are going to be the, the sorry, the Bodavigs are going to be the oldest ones who keep their position for now. We're going to lose all the other ones. All of these guys, even the Shield Decroters, which I, I did like, thought that they performed. No, 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 I did not like these. Sorry, take it back. Trier? I don't really, oh, these are very heavily armed though. Well, anyways, these guys are all going down the, they're going down the toilet, it's hard to say. South Pacific, Indian Ocean, South. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get my Corvettes to the right area. So we need South Pacific, Indian Ocean, 
South Africa, West Africa. So basically everywhere. We need them on all the foreign station places. Okay, fine. Just start rolling them out. Let's put three. I think three is, well, I don't know. Let's get three over to West Africa. Let's get three over to South Africa. Southern Africa, three over to East Africa, or Indian Ocean, sorry. Then we'll get three over to South Pacific. I guess we don't have anybody in the, in uh, the Southeast Pacific, the Philippines area. Yeah, Southeast Asia was like one area we, we are lacking. And then um, some to, I guess, to Northeast Asia. Although that's going to be a very busy place in the next few minutes, or months, I guess, when the armored cruisers arrive. And that's probably going to be their graveyard, too. All right, when they get there, then we can start canceling. Oh, look at this. I will accept because they only have a Corvette here. <laughs> so no matter what. What what we find? It's gonna be a win for us. Just launch torpedoes. Come on, <laughs> launch torpedoes. <laughs> And then we'll go head on, launch one more. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> okay. I, I, are you right? I don't know if we were centered for that one, but I think you'll agree that that is, it wasn't necessary. Yeah, we do have some, some poor ships that are, okay. Depth charges haven't gotten there yet. We have smoke floats. Um, unfavorable weather. That one I completely understand. Makes sense. It's November especially. Okay, uh, let's see. These guys have only, well, one of them here does need, I mean, we could have them actually stop the Oscars Borg. We could actually have that ship stop and wait to get um, the star replenished. Because that's the supply issue is what they're saying. Uh, that's another thing I could probably be using my money on is just building bigger naval bases. So we're already building this. Never mind. We're already building bigger everywhere. <laughs> God, building bigger. Anyway, uh, let's see. This one's at ten. I think you get the most bang for your buck by building the biggest one, making the biggest existing one bigger. Let's build um, Southwest Africa up. Yeah, it looks like a lot of these other places are already going, are already getting enlarged, including that one. Ten there. Ten. Now this is technically Central Pacific, so I guess we, it would be beneficial for us to spend nine hundred for eighteen months, building that one up. And what's the defense situation here? One. Now we'll want another one. Let's get another six-inch battery over there. How are we doing over here? We have three six, oh, two six inches and one 10 inch. And then nothing here, okay, well, let's, let's change that. Get at least two six inch ones over there. <clears throat> I guess that I, I took that one somewhere at some point and I forgot to actually fortify it. We'll see if that invasion kicks off. I mean, I'm expecting the war still to, to end soon. Their aggressor, huh, French Raider. Well, the great news is it can't be any of the two battle cruisers that we fought before because they they're both they both sank. Question still remains, what will it be? And their aggressor is not a very quick ship, but we'll we'll fight it. I guess this is one I would have felt a little bit more comfortable auto resolving. Although, yeah, I mean, you will always, I will always perform better than, well, I mean, on, on average, I will perform better than the auto resolve. 
Oh, okay, so it's a fair fight in some sense. 6,800, I think we have it beat by double. I don't think, I don't think they're gonna wanna engage though. 20 knots, huh? You know, they may not have a say in it. Just go up at 16 and see if we can, what are they trying to do here anyway? Let's go squad max now. I was hoping to wait to turn on the jets so that we could uh, control the engagement better. I'm, I'm not even sure if we're winning or losing. I hope to God we're winning because we, <laughs> we were zipping along there. Let's see what happened. We hit them, they hit us, they near missed, then we hit them twice, they hit us, then we hit them twice. Nine inch gun, six inch gun, they hit us mediums, two six inch guns. Medium, medium, six inch gun. So we only hit them once with a nine inch gun. All right, let's come, let's bring up this. Dare aggressor, please, can you? There we go, <laughs> the, the range circles, please. Sometimes you just have to run a minute. All right, well, we're just exchanging fire. It doesn't look good for us in the last two rounds, but that's okay. We're gonna fight on. I landed a nine inch shell there. Okay, another hit. It's fun when you're in these duels. I love them. Like we're not necessarily the winner here, you know. Let's uh let's get personal, yeah. Boarding. <laughs> get the grappling hooks ready. So that went poorly for us, but I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to stick this out. I think I just have this feeling that we're going to win this. We want to be on their northern side as well. Northeastern side, so the wind favors us. Okay. Whenever you see a pop up, you start thinking torpedoes. I do, at least. I get nervous. Come back a little bit more. I want to see that turn. Nine inch and six inch, and then we got a duck extended hit. How are we doing? How does our ship look like? Because we, I mean, in theory, just exchanging fire will win since our ship is twice as heavy tonnage wise. It's kind of like hit points. We can take more hits. It's harder to sink us. Oh, wow, they're now on fire, which is, I've heard, not a good thing for a ship. <laughs> they put it out pretty quickly, though. And we limited flooding, which means that we're flooding, or were flooding. No, for a ship that was on fire and all that, she's doing pretty well for herself. We do have the wind advantage now. Oh, by the way, Sea State limits float plane ops. The fact that there are float planes is a, a, a mystery to the German people who have not yet invented an airplane, much less a float plane. Even though we see other people flying them around, we just think, you know, they, they, they are, they were godless folk and that's probably just part of their faith is that they can get these things to fly in the air. I'm not sure it's worth pursuing any further, but here we go anyway. All right, we missed him. All right, cool. Let's go down to cruise and cruise that way. And you're done. Good job. Put up a, a nice performance there, aggressor. Oh, okay. <laughs> An even better performance. We sank it. <laughs> yeah, I guess we did just cause them to keep running. Do Are we going to see high speed limit? I love this. I mean, I hate it typically, but 
And the leaks and aging of structure increase flooding. Could have happened to me too. Um, yeah, high speed increases flooding. It's just a, it's a real thing. And the AI doesn't deal with it very well. Okay, well, um, that's nice. It's uh, one less ship. One less ship we have to deal with. Uh, there's so many of them. I mean, this is just insane how, how much damage we're doing to these guys. Ah, we lost one of our light cruisers to a mine. All right, which one was it? Mind, 1915, this is the one, the Windhoek. A Bodevig, okay, well, that's one less Bodevig we have to, you know, if only I had done the re retrofit that much faster. We'll get them, we're gonna go do, and do the retrofit now. So yeah, let's just sit on it. I don't think we'll bulge them or do anything crazy. Just let them have their 20 knots. Fire control, that's something that we might be able to, to include. Can we? We can, okay, we'll do that. And that is not very expensive. Um, replacing the guns would be, so that's not gonna happen. And then when they pop out, we'll get the uh, Bowdoin Seas to take their vacation, their sabbatical as well. Convoy attack, the enemies have no forces here, so guess how that goes. <laughs> Um, light forces, it's only, oh, what the heck, why is 800 victory points for light forces battle? Can I decline this? I guess I'll just accept everything, okay, that's, we've gotten to the point where, enemy coastal raid, they're just declining everything. A cruiser battle way out here, I gotta say, I think I'll decline that. One of our major is trying to give us another... Sure, we'll take it. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> don't let them get off lightly. Oh my God, it never ends. I mean, I just don't want them to get off lightly, <laughs> but I do want it to end. Above water tubes on light cruisers. Well, it's a good thing we didn't design a light cruiser because, hey, look at that, we're invading. No, because we have uh, above water torpedo mounts for light cruisers now. Oh, we sank the French ship with the mine. Oh, looks like the Austro-Hungarians lost their Budweiser. And the French lost a Corvette. Well, that's not a good exchange for the Austro-Hungarians. See, our monthly balance has dropped, probably from all that Coastal fortifications and expanding naval bases, which I know that uh, it's, you know it's, it's, it's a money dump. Probably not necessary. I was going to say we probably should put some in the Caribbean. And oh my God, there's no there's no fortifications here. There we go. Now at least we have two six-inch batteries. That's good. That'll help defend. And are we in, I get maybe that's why the invasion triggered. Yeah, so our armored cruisers arrived in Northeast Asia. We should have plenty of space there. Yeah, the red box meaning that we're actually invading. Foreign tonnage is way over what we need and yet base, base capacity is not fully utilized. It's only at 25% even with all those ships over there. So we're good, everything should be fine now. Battle in support of land combat. Well, I, we're accepting. They don't have anything though. That's the comedy of this. So we can just, I guess they might have, I guess they might have a, uh... oh, okay. it's a convoy. Okay, squad max, just go in and sink. <laughs> so they have no, they have no ships here. <laughs> Wait, they have a ship here? more than they should. Oh, maybe it's another Corvette. Another Corvette snuck in. Hopefully they're leading me right to the uh, actual convoy. I'm gonna take a drink while 
do this because I'm not too concerned about this. It is a 1700 ton. Look at this Corvette, two six inch guns. What the heck? I mean, that's something. It's actually significant. <laughs> it landed the first shots. I don't think that they can defeat me, but it's funny that they can even try. I've got a little glowworm vibe going from this one. All right, finally landing some hits. Good thing is we don't really have to worry about torpedoes. Let's go find the convoy though, if we can. Whoop, there they are. Right on cue, and it looks like there's uh, at least one probably fake destroyer, real destroyer, what are you? They have a real destroyer here now? 900 tons. Okay, do a little bit of zigzagging to avoid torpedoes. All right, come back in. I got two destroyers here. Try to take that guy out before he gets off any more torpedoes. Assuming that they have gotten any off. By the way, let's just take a look at this Raider. Six four inch guns, so three per side, 2,000 tons total. I mean, she's not gonna stand up well to us, obviously, but it's fun that they are making them, I guess. We're just gonna do a number on these guys, which should allow the invasion to work. This does give us more invasion point progress or something. And we're hiding behind the transports, which means that we should be invulnerable to torpedoes because they wouldn't ever launch at their own friendly ship line of fire. We all we all know how that goes. Okay. Uh, the raider is now dead. Long live the raider. Still actually landing hits. I mean, the, the Mephesta is just having a field day here. Look at that guy go. Who is that guy? Oh, it's a transport. Is you see a motor in along at like Mach 10? <laughs> just flying, just zipping away. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm a transport. I actually, I can't, that's actually physically impossible for me to go that fast. Well, now I'll just die. These guys down here are obeying a lot of the physics. I don't know what, that guy, it's, Turned on a super turbocharged afterburner. So we're at 18 and uh, he was going faster than us, or it looked that way. I have no idea what his actual speed was. Oh, might as well get all of them just for the fun. Come back, come back. Okay. And you know what, that's sufficient. Let's go down to cruise and just call that good enough. Oh, okay, there we go. Wow, we didn't actually kill either of those destroyers despite putting in what I thought was pretty heavy damage. Let's let's see what exactly happened. Yeah, we only landed four hits on that one. That's not a big deal. Huh, four hits, okay. Yeah, well, I, I wasn't really paying that close of attention. I thought we were hitting them more than that, but I guess not. Still another 1,200 victory points. Not that the, not that we need it. Great Britain and USA have signed an alliance. Oh boy, uh, that's, that's concerning. Um, I, well, actually we do want to wait a few more months. Our invasion is in progress. Okay, of course, <laughs> just when I, it's exactly what I fear, just as soon as our invasion is launched, they'll sign peace. Uh, oh boy. Peace is concluded, give us some points. They gave us 10, that's, I, all right, let me um, please, 
remember which one has oil. Ah, it says it right here, Senegal. We'll take Senegal. And maybe we'll only take Senegal. Not taking anything in the Mediterranean. Madagascar wouldn't be terrible. I mean, we could try to pursue um, an Indian Ocean strategy as well. Djibouti. I'm not sure which is better between those. Probably Madagascar because it's more out of other people's invasion range. <laughs> more defensive minded. Do we want to break into Southeast Asia? Not really. It kind of does make sense for us to take away highway. It's a possibility for us. Oh, gosh, I just hate the fact that. No, we're not going to take it because. I might take the Caribbean one. We're not going to take Wei Highway just because um, we should be able to steal it in a future war with the French. Until this is, is uh, up for consideration, I would say. I don't know about putting more things into the South Pacific. Not super interesting. Basically, we need oil. We need Senegal. And we like the reparations probably more than we like the territory. Then it just takes us back to the question of Antilles or not. <sighs> probably not. No, um, just as a reminder for people who don't know, when you take territory, it's nice. It's like nice to paint the map, but you do get more money for not taking territory and getting war reparations from the, it increases your budget at a higher amount than the territory you get. Which makes sense, because territory has other advantages. Like, you know, you can base your ships there. So yeah, we're just going to take Senegal. Didn't you know we had captains under captivity? We got quality zero 10 inch guns? You gotta be joking me, that's not that exciting. Well, we gotta call this video to a close. We're already over 50 minutes. Again, two videos in a row, how exciting. But let's just start off doing the the dirty deed that needs to be done, and that's this right here. Fifteen light cruisers are gone, and we will have to build them quickly. Oh. Foreign tonnage. <laughs> I thought we had enough, but you know, somewhere one of these places is missing it. West Africa and Indian Ocean both. Okay, well, West Africa, we can solve that pretty quickly. What's Indian Ocean's complaint? Yeah, so we have three ships. If, if I'm not mistaken, we have... Well, who do we have in the Indian Ocean? We have one ship at 900 tons and three more ships at 900 tons. So yeah, by my math, that's 1,800, but yet that is only counting for 18, sorry, 3,600, but that's only counting, for, they're only counting for half their tonnage, which means I would need eight Corvettes to satisfy all the requirements, and that's kind of yucky. Okay, the minimum block trade blockade is eight. It must be, eight. I, this number just has to change. Maybe I need to mod it. It's gotta be 120, in my opinion. But that's okay. We'll wrap it up here and we'll start building new ships. Probably new light, I mean, we definitely need new light cruisers, don't we? I also need to retrofit the old ones. Yeah, we're gonna have a retrofitting party, even a design party in the next in the next episode. But until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.